Hello, everybody. So uh, usually I, I come on the stage uh, in the name of advertising industry because I spent almost 20 years in, in advertising. But today I will talk a little about uh, sustainability and how we can create sustainable business and how we can change the world using the big companies and using the capitalism, which is the cause of the problems to solve the to solve the problems. So uh, usually in advertising, you, you sell your creative soul to, to devils of capitalism, which we politely called clients. And when I talk to people and tell that now we will, we will use those clients to change the world, they usually say, how can ugly companies who, who create problems can change the world for a better? So I will, I will talk a about, little about that and a little about the background of this thing. That's why the reason of the, of the presentation is be mainstream. Because if you, if you look at the first picture here, we are talking about music band, we're talking about some kind of art. And usually when we talk about creativity, people say that uh, good creatives and good bands are not those with the millions of mm, people listening to it, but those niche ones who pretend to be so good that only few people can understand them. But if you want to make any kind of impact on the world, it's better to look like this. Y you cannot say that Rolling Stones or Mick Jagger is bullshit. It just they just changed the world for a better because they, they didn't change the quality of the music. They just educated people to, to lift the level of, of the quality. So it's the same with, in an, I know, if we are talking about Tesla and his influence to the world about electricity, if he, if he would stay on the small creek in Lika, nothing would happen. Maybe he could light the bulb. But if he made it on a big level, then the whole world has the electricity. So uh, being niche is okay for the, for the person, but acting global and being mainstream is very, very good and important to, for the world. So pretty, pretty same thing is about fighting for a better world in eco, uh, ecology and uh, some kind of... Uh, social responsible project because if you look at the Greenpeace or, or all these uh, people fighting against the big corporation, uh, you, can, you can grab some attention, but you cannot really change the thing. So for example, uh, this is Cannes Advertising Festival. So at, de at that specific moment, uh, all the money from the world is placed in that palace when I say all the money in the world, so all presidents, owners, uh, directors from all companies in the world are there. So for example, if earthquake or something happens there, the whole economy we know is collapsed. So uh, this is the place where you can actually change the world. For example, if we are talking about, uh, I don't know, gay, gay people rights, if we are talking about women rights, if we are talking about media, anything, everything is happening there. Because when, when big brands start to make the change, then the change affects the world. I mean, this is something that people who want to make the change, they despise this because it's, it's like elite thing. But if you want to make a change, you have to use the energy of those people and make them play your way. This is this is much smarter way than try to be somewhere uh, off stream and be very small and be good, but don't do any, any change in the world. So if you are talking about uh, big changes, then you have to think how use the big power and use it smartly. That's, that's why I think the mainstream is very okay. On, on my way here, walking down the street, I saw the poster which says uh, street fashion exhibition. Uh, one artist creates uh, uh, 
clothes and fashion from the things she from the garbage she found on the street and it's done in the Croatian blind people society so it's very paradoxical because nobody will see it uh, and it's very symbolic uh, ex for example if diesel or I don't know Levi's or some big brand would do that it will make the change immediately so that's the importance of the mainstream brands uh, as I said, I'm 20 years in advertising, but uh, since last year, November, we founded a non-profit agency uh, with the aim to create uh, social responsible and the projects, projects which will change the world using capitalism to heal the problems the capitalism caused. So, uh, first, and probably the, the best example of, the, of our work, I will show the video later, is to plant the trees to uh, make a reforestation of the burned areas. So we could, we could do this and chain ourselves on the tree and pretending to be very, very cool and very powerful, but nothing will change. Mm, we didn't do that, we do something completely different. So actually, I it became the biggest uh, afforestation uh, project in the Europe ever. And actually, it was awarded on some creative festivals as well. But uh, more important is that it really made a change. It has more than 7,000 volunteers and it became very mainstream. That's why it made a change. Because even before that, there were many, many of projects planting the trees, but this became the really huge one. And uh, something similar uh, to that, but on some level completely different, is our next project, which we are doing, of course, in a corporation with, with the big brands. It's called Compensating by Planting, because uh, carbon footprint and uh, carbon problem in the world is the biggest problem now. and each company which thinks to have a future will have to deal with the uh, with the carbon footprint uh, very very soon so what we do we calculate the emission of the co2 we recalculate it in the number of trees and we give the opportunity to companies to compensate that footprint by planting the trees and um, i I can say I'm almost 20 years in advertising, 
but I never had so great response from the big companies on one project as we have for this one. So uh, we, without their money and without their power to do something, we could plant 100 trees. Now we will, we will definitely plant 100,000 trees because it's a smart way to take their money and to make it a good thing. So we had a press conference about the project which was, which was very hugely covered in the media and uh, it became very popular these days and actually now we have more clients than we can plant the trees this year. So it will go on and it's at least 10 years project but it started very well. So for the end what I wanted to say is uh, don't get me wrong, don't follow the mainstream, this is the, the most stupid thing, but become mainstream do something really good and don't be afraid to become a mainstream. You know those punk bands who suddenly have 10,000 people on a concert are perceived as a they, they lost their soul and they, they are not that good. Maybe they're really good but they educated the audience and that's the really good thing. Maybe to finish with uh, what Picasso said that she mother, uh, his mother told him, if you're going to be a priest, then become a pope. If you're going to be a soldier, then become a general. And he said, I decided to be a painter and I became Picasso. So that's how you should do things. And if you ever will work for the big company, you should know that you have a power to change something. Thank you.